What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here with me today. If you are new here, please make sure you go ahead and slap that like button because it helps support my channel. Also make sure you guys subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming reaction videos. Also just because I don't have a post schedule. I only post when I feel cute. So if you want to be here when I post a video, slap that notification bell in the face. I am so excited today because this is one of those videos that makes my channel a variety channel. Like I cannot just react to music. I cannot just react to my favorite video games. I cannot just react to my favorite songs. I have to do these things that pull at my heart. And this movie reaction for this trailer means so much to me because if you guys know, I'm a huge Resident Evil fan and the only way I was ever let down as a Resident Evil fan was when they started creating the movies. And as much as I love the movies just because they had a sprinkle of what I knew of Resident Evil in them, they did not give us the origin movie story that we needed until now. Allegedly, this covers the Leon Claire story. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'm a huge fan and I'm very like, I imagine this movie to go a certain way for so many years. So I'm going to be very, very tight and very nitpicky on certain things. But let's see. I want you guys to see my reaction because it's something I want to share with you all. I really enjoy this series. I really have been like a part of my life. I've been playing PlayStation 1 since I was a kid and I played the, it, it taught me like to face my fears. Like I was scared to play this game growing up and I would just turn it on and go for it. And that's pretty much how I handle life these days now too. I just jump right in front of it and that, that's what you got to do and this is one of the, it's just taught it's like little values and things that I learned from it it just means so much to me so let's get into it right now trailer for Resident Evil welcome to Raccoon City come on oh shoot oh 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 ah! every story has a beginning Discover the origin of evil. 98, that's the year. Why are you back here, Claire? Your conspiracies weren't true when we were kids. They're not true now. We need to expose Umbrella. Watch this. I'm afraid, Claire. I'm afraid of what they're gonna do to this town. You see, Umbrella, they had an incident. I'm talking Chernobyl, if you know what I mean. People are getting sick. Let the world know what's really going on. We have to contain this. Shall we go? doing here this is where they're experimenting on him we should split up oh my gosh the mansion Okay, uh, lots of thoughts, lots of thoughts. All right, so, uh, see, it's like, I'm a huge fan, so it's almost like whatever they present to me, I'm going to watch, I'm gonna absorb it, because when you, when I was a kid and you just had the game, it's like you had one game to play, you know, and then there were sequels, and then there were multiple sequels, and then there were multiple movies, and multiple sequels of movies and games, so there's a lot to absorb, and I've absorbed it all. I mean, I've been a huge fan since I was younger, like I said, so ju this just existing is so exciting. Am I nitpicking? Yes, I am, because I want Claire to have the ponytail. 
ponytail. I want Leon to be blonde. I love these actors. I love these actresses. And, and I think what also upsets me is that some of them look familiar that I've seen in other things. And I hate, I almost don't want that. I almost want, like, cast a new fresh face that looks exactly like the character. And then, and I hope they do well. Rather than casting people who are already, like, heavily involved in Hollywood and getting good roles and all that, I would rather have seen all fresh faces of people looking identically to, like, the real-life characters that they use to create the avatars for Resident Evil 1 on PlayStation 1. Um, in the first intro video of the mansion, they use, like, real people. And if they could have got people who look identical to that, that would have been perfect. And then identical to the characters they built in Resident Evil 2. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bash them just yet because there's still a chance that their actual acting of the portrayal of the personality of the characters may come through strongly. And I know these personalities of Claire, Chris, and Leon like the back of my hand. So like, I will know if it's spot on or not. Although I'm already just upset that they don't look like the characters. But some pluses. And I don't mean to be nitpicky. I only am because I love this series so much and I know and love the characters so much. The only reason why I'm picking at this like this, I would not pick at anything else because I don't know anything else like that. But when I've actually been entertained by something like this for over 20 years, it's like, okay, like I, I know it so well. I want it to be a certain way. So one of the things I did, like I, all the monsters, the dogs, the zombies look freaking scary one i was gonna say they look identical they look scarier than they've ever looked ever so i'm actually a little afraid of that but also excited but there were certain camera angles such as when the first zombie was eating in the mansion that was from the game when they first entered the mansion that was from the game the rpd um whole um uh, police station it was very much same set design as the game um so so a lot of things coming straight from the game as well and i can tell and i've read certain articles that like they specifically did this movie and listened to the fans because as they did their 10,000 resident evil movies with mila jolvich that you know we we love them but we were all like where's the mansion where's rbd like where is the themes and elements of the games like we were so focused on alice and i just always got so angry about that like luckily we got nemesis luckily we got jill like we got characters here and there in the mila jolvich series but now we're finally like zooming in on like again some of those moments that we had in resident evil history that are so so important and so embedded in our brains and now we get to see them redone and remade and i'm glad that they're sprinkling that in but they could have just given us identical car i'm sorry like i'm i want where's the ponytail where's the red jacket why, why was claire getting a brief message before she was going to raccoon city i thought claire was a normal girl traveling looking for her brother chris i didn't know there was like she it looks like she was some type of like agent or something so i'm confused like are they changing the the jobs of these characters are they changing their background story as well as their looks is it just the looks how much are we keeping to the original resident evil story and how much are we rewriting for the sakes of of it looking better for the movie i did see the um the ashford family stuff being covered which i think is so good because when i played the games and then the movie started coming out i remember thinking like not only am i mad that the movies are so so alice not mad because i do love the alice story it was cute but not only is it so alicey like not only am i mad that it's so alicey but there's so much story in to be told like the ashford story and all the stuff that happens in like code veronica is so juicy like that alone can be a stretch out between two or three movies and i always wondered why they didn't zoom in on that a little bit more but now i see they are going to cover it in this one and i guess this is more as like a prequel like um type of thing because they did go back to 98 and i'm not sure where the resident evil one movie with alice versus what year that's supposed to take place in um but maybe i know it came out in like the early 2000s so maybe it's meant to be like early 2000s and then maybe 98 was truly this one but i don't know let me know if any if there i think this is really cool this is one of my favorite parts about doing youtube honestly because with hopes that this video will go reach other resident evil fans like i would like to know what you guys think like let me know in the comments first say hi tell me where you're from and all that good stuff your name but i also would love to know like are you excited for this do you feel the same way i do about the comparison of the movies like am i am i doing too much let me like let me know like am i crazy or or what what do you guys feel <laughs> i love you guys thank you for watching this with me and i'll see you in the next video Bye.